Hi, it's Eeyore. We're going to process the M51 data today for the slash R slash astrophotography processing challenge. So we've got that integration open here. We're going to use PixInsight and we're going to start with a very basic screen, screen transfer function and give us an auto stretch just to see what we have. Wow, that's pretty in pink. So obviously the first thing we want to do is crop the stacking artifacts and a lot of the vignetting here. We'll crop all this out. So we're going to come down to about right here, give or take a little. I'll move that over just a little so it's not quite right on the center. And we'll crop that out and increase that size a little bit there. Alright, that's different. Now we've got some dust bunnies in here that we're going to have to deal with. We know those are going to be there. So we'll keep those in mind. Next thing, uh, ABE works fairly well on this image I've found. So we'll just go ahead and just run a quick ABE to go ahead and pull the gradient out and all the red. The red is the result of the IR filter being removed from that camera. So that's what was causing that. And yeah, I did a pretty nice job. We'll have we'll have these to worry about here. I think actually, to be honest, we're going to get rid of one of those by simply cropping it out. We'll just we'll do that. Yeah, that's better. All right, I like that better. All right, that looks a little better there, like that. And we'll close these, keep the workspace kind of cleaned up here. Next thing we're going to want to do is check our color balance, and I'm quite sure it's going to be well off. So we're going to neutral, do a little background neutralization here. We'll just put a preview right up around here. Well, actually, you know what? Let's move that down here. And we're going to go ahead and put another one right on the galaxy itself. That'll be our white reference when it comes time to do color calibration. We'll choose preview one here, leave these at the defaults. That should, that should help the background quite a bit. And then color calibration. We'll use our second preview, this one here, for the white reference, take off structure detection. Use our first preview for the background reference. Oh yeah, that's okay. There we go. Much better. And that should be, uh, yes, fairly close to the same here now, whether we're linked or not. And it is. So that's that's good. That's what we wanted. We'll get rid of our previews. Again, keep things clean here. And that's probably really about all we want to do with linear work. We'll try perhaps a bit of linear noise reduction here, maybe. Let's turn on our preview and see what we what we can manage here. If we take uh, uh, it might okay, that might uh, might be worth doing here. We'll drop that down there. That looks like maybe a start, like maybe at least we got some of the fantail here pulled out of that. So yeah, we'll go ahead and oops. There we go. Go ahead and pull that out. Yeah, that helped a little, I think. Now We'll go ahead and take this nonlinear. In this case, I don't want to pull all of this noise and light pollution out of here, honestly. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to disable our screen transfer function. And I'm going to run the histogram transformation manually. We'll tell it to track so we can see our peak. We don't have much of a peak. It's not really off the bottom here. So this is going to be... This one's going to be a little touchy, actually. We'll pull this up enough that we start to see some of our tail here. 
But then we want to pull the blacks down to get rid of some of that haze. We're going to watch our shadows because we don't certainly don't want to clip 8%. We'll zoom in a little further, maybe see if we can get a little bit resolution there, a little bit better resolution there. Nope, sure can't. So we'll go just below that. And that's probably a pretty good start here. That's not too bad. We've still got our dust bunnies here, but they're not as bad as they were. And we've still got some of this in the background, but we'll lose that here shortly as well. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab just a very basic luminance mask. We're going to stretch it as well. And we're going to try to brighten the, up the core there. And there we go. Really darken up the background so that we're not including it in our mask. And we'll start here with our first attempt to kind of clean up the background. We'll disable the viewing of the mask. Now we want to invert it so that we're working on our background and protecting our bright objects. So we'll invert it and then we'll disable viewing of it here so it's not distracting. And let's see what we can do by simply, see that will take care of much of our dust money. It's alone right there actually. So we'll just go there. Yeah, that's that, and that doesn't take too much of our data out either. That's that's we like that. Let's whoops. Let's start there. And now let's put this back to not inverted here. And let's see what, if anything, we might still be able to find. No, I don't think really we're going to find too much more there. We can, no, it doesn't really look like there's much more detail there to be had. So we'll just brighten it up a little bit. All right, I'll pull it out of the background there. All right, now using that same mask, go do our curves transformation here and we're going to do our first boost of saturation to get some color out of our galaxy there and we're really going to pull that up because it didn't collect too much color here on the shorter exposures all right that's starting to look like the color we want in fact we might even do a little more there we go that's starting to look a little better. Now, I'm going to try a little noise reduction here with TGV denoise. And we're going to use a preview for this because otherwise it takes forever and a day to apply. And let's just start with the defaults and see what that looks like. We left the mask on because we only want to address the the brighter objects themselves here. Uh, didn't really do too much. Let's smooth us a little more. Let's run a lot of our sliders up just a little more. Alright. That probably is going to be pretty close. We'll pause while this is running. Okay, that ran for about 30 seconds here. So, let's see what the difference looks like. We'll undo and redo. That's still really not enough, to be perfectly honest. I'm just not really happy with that. I think we're going to go ahead and take our mask off. Maybe, let's, let's see, what, let's try this again here, see what we get. We'll pause again. Okay, after that one, that may be actually too much. Yeah, that's a little too much. So probably what we want is something somewhere in between here. We're going to run this down just a little bit, run this back down. And we'll try one more time here. Okay, and we're back, and this probably is pretty close to where we wanted to be. 
That's probably pretty close. We've smoothed some of that out. Yeah, I think we like that maybe. All right. The last thing then we're going to do is we're going to go back to our luminance mask. We're going to put him back on there. And we're going to disable this preview here. We're going to try a little local histogram equalization on just the brighter parts of the image here. And that's probably going to be a little much. So we'll pull our, pull our amount down a little bit here. Alright. And this should pull some of our dust lanes out. Okay, we definitely added some clarity to the arms here. Added a little clarity into the core of the smaller galaxy here that's being eaten. And then finally, our last step here is going to be adjust some saturation of individual colors. And this is a little trick we got from Harry. We're going to just put some lines here along the edge to keep the overall line from moving too much. Excuse me, put some points here. And then we're going to say we like this orangey color, so we're going to select on it and kind of see where it is over here in our color saturation. It's right on that one point, basically. So we're going to take this point. Let's enable our preview so we can watch it happen. We're going to pull this point up. And that really brings some clarity here to the orange and really pulls that out. And we'll kind of smooth this curve up a little bit. And the other color I like out here is I like these blues and purples in this galaxy. So we see where they are on the color line. We'll move this point over here to about where that was and then pull that up. And those really start to take shape there in our image. And then we'll boost the reds just a little. We do have some reds and purples in here that we like to pull out, although we didn't get much of them with the low exposure time. And we'll run this over here. That's a much, much better result. Really like the colors there much more now. You can see how they really are get pulled out. And last but not least, a little SCNR, just to remove any green that may still be hanging around. And there we go. M51 processed for the astrophotography subreddit processing challenge.